guys, welcome back to my channel. Today you are going to join me as I take my custom dress for my vow renewal from Lunds and tweak it here and there and here and there and here and there to make it perfect, perfect, perfect. Usually this is something that you would take to a seamstress, but after my wedding dress nightmare story, which I have a video on and I'll link it down below, but after that I said, you know what, I should have done this myself and I could have done this myself, so next time I'm not going to take it to a seamstress or a tailor. And no matter how tempting that it is because it's scary to work on such an intricate, delicate dress, you're gonna come along with me as I do it and as I make the dress exactly 100% perfection. Let's get going. So the first thing is that this dress is just a pinch too big in the front. So as you can see it fits really really flush at the back but in the front it's just like a little bit too big. Now I could double sided tape it to my body but I, because it's strapless I just want it to bit like super snug. So to do that, I am going to take it in on the sides and I'm going to make sure that I take it in a little bit more in the front side as opposed to the back so that it pulls it in a little tighter in the front and not so much in the back. Then when I'm done that, I'm going to add in some boning right along the side seam on both sides so that the dress stands even straighter in the sides. There currently is quite a bit of boning there's boning down the center and in the sides here and in the back, but this is just like that extra mile I want to achieve with this structure. And the final little tweak to this dress that I'm going to make is I'm going to add in a little bit of lace along some of these seams. I just feel like I want to make it just ever so tweaked and perfect to my eyes and I could actually do that by just moving some of the pieces of lace like detaching them and moving them and I might do that but I also went out and I bought almost the exact same type of lace that's at the top like literally it's almost it's so close it's the exact same more or less <laughs> oh and just one more thing so they had loosely just stitched on some of these pieces of lace because I asked them to add a few pieces on just so I could see, but not to permanently attach them. And so that's kind of what they did here and here. And there was one more piece right in here, uh, but I removed this piece. These pieces though, I'm going to stitch down with some clear thread so that they all lay flat and smooth just like the rest of the dress. Let me just tell you, I am nervous as all heck to do this because the dress looks so good as is, but I need to do what I need to do. This is the side seam right here, and I'm first just gonna take off this little piece of lace and hiding the seam, going through and taking off these little stitches that are sewn with clear thread so you can barely see them. Okay, so now I have that one piece of lace kind of flipped up out of the way. So you can see I detached it really nicely across this section. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to seam rip this edge just right here. And hopefully that will give me enough space to work with. I'm really just hoping here. Literally trying to do as like the least amount of stuff as possible. Now, as you can see, I have opened up the side of the dress and there's this big old hole. Here is the side seam. And basically now I'm going to take apart this seam right here, just a little way down. Perfect. And then when I line it all back up, actually mark this side with a pin so that I would know how far over approximately I need to pull it. And now I'm just gonna pin that right down. So I'm gonna actually flip this back over and sew it this way along this edge. And then once I do that, I'm gonna do the exact same thing on this layer right here so that they all match up. Okay, so wish me luck, you guys, because I am literally so scared right now. So stressed out. <laughs> I don't think you know. Okay, so I need to match this up starting at the top going down to right here because that's where the stitching continues. I think I can, I think I can, I think I can. <laughs> I think I did it. I think I did it. 
I think I did it. Did I do it? So I'm just unpinning this and like rolling this back over just to see like is this gonna look pretty much 100% straight and to be honest I think it is so we're good to go success! <laughs> Sorry I didn't film this step by step, but I will explain it. So I wanted to add that boning down both sides, but one side I've done so far. And so what I did was I picked up this stuff. It's called, I was gonna say basing tape, but it's actually called bias tape. Anyway, it's basically um, the little tape ribbon that you sew to whatever garment you have, and then you slip in the boning and then you sew the end closed. These were the pieces of boning that were already installed. These two and this and basically all the rest except for this. So quickly show you this is the bias tape. It's almost the same color. So you can see here this side is sewn really really pretty. That's because I managed to fit the dress into the sewing machine and this side I could not fit the dress in. It just was so cumbersome so I just hand sewed this all the way up. I slipped the boning in and then hand sewed it back together at the top and here it is, voila, one piece of boning in. So I'm going to repeat that step on the other side just to really give it the most amount of structure that I possibly can. Totally not necessary, totally just because I'm being picky, but that's what I'm going to do. So, you know, if I had just specified that I wanted this to lens in the first place, they definitely would have just sewed in that boning. So the one thing I kind of learned from that is just if you're going through LUNS, like provide all the detail of everything that you want. Really think it through and ask for it because they do a great job and they'll accommodate, which is great. So the next thing I'm going to do, isn't it pretty? Just take like a little close up here. Isn't this stunning? Um, but yeah, so the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna sew back down all these pieces of lace that I lifted up. <laughs> Okay, so it is the next day. I just tested out some Vow Renewal makeup. What do you think? You'll see on my Instagram probably whether or not I chose to keep this look or not. I don't know if this lipstick's too dark, but it's kind of like a mood. It's kind of, I don't know, it's nice at the same time. I don't know. Anyway, so I've reattached the lace on the sides and the last thing I'm gonna do here is add the piece of eyelash lace right in here. But as you can see here, the dress fits much better at the top like it's not really moving so solved for that the other thing that i gotta do and i'll show you i'll just pan you down here i had asked the designer working on my dress to add in some pieces of applique in addition to what they had already added and they just loosely tacked it on like right here and right here so these are kind of like sticking up and that's why because if they had sewed them down really properly they'd be really hard for me to get off but I do like them so I'm going to sew these down as well so the real question I have is can I do this while I'm wearing the dress because when I was sewing in the lace at the top I found it harder that the dress wasn't actually fully stretched out I would imagine that when they stitched this on to begin with they had the dress on a mannequin which would have made it easier. So I'm just pulling out some of this clear thread, which by the way, I hate working with this clear thread. It is a nightmare and a half for me and I don't know why. Like even just seeing it is so hard. Struggle of my life, guys. Ah! Okay, so I'm gonna do a little, oh, oh, they're not even. Try this again, try this again. So I'm just tying it in a little knot like my mama taught me. It's a great A1 tutorial, Delia. Just, wow. Yes, I got the knot. Okay, and then I'm gonna sew along. So I have now finished with sewing on those appliques. Now I'm gonna slow on the eyelash lace and I just wanted to update you to let you know that I decided that this lip I love it. 
but it's too dark for our little ceremony. So as a complete side note, Parth totally didn't want to see the dress, so he has no idea what it looks like really. But meanwhile, to me, it's like the prettiest dress I've ever worn. If you watched my wedding nightmare video, then you know I had like such a bad experience with my initial wedding dress. So I'm so pleased that I get this opportunity to wear such a pretty dress. I just need to show it off once more. Oh, here is all my makeup from testing out my makeup. Here's my bags which are packed because you know, we're leaving tomorrow and I'm still working on my dress. Very last minute. Okay, so I've just placed the dress on a mannequin because yes, I would have an ugly green mannequin. Here it is in all its glory. I basically did that because I thought attaching the additional piece of lace here would be easier on the mannequin. I bought this lace, which is pretty much an exact match for what's happening at the top here. I'd just like to take a minute to be happy that the lace pinning went my way and that it's sitting perfectly and now I just need to stitch it on and it's gonna be a good thing because I love when things go my way when I'm DIYing and when I'm sewing because it's so easy for it to not go your way so yeah back to sewing so again just taking my much this like clear thread and I'm just gonna start pinning it on in case you're wondering during this project specifically, and I don't know why that's the case. I have stabbed myself at least 30 times, I would say, with the needle. It's a good time, guys, it's a good time. Okay guys, so my beloved Lund custom dress is ready to go. Thank you so much for watching as I perfect my vow renewal dress. I'm so excited. The dress, again, is from Lund's. I'll link the website down below. I loved working with them. I can't believe this dress came to me for free at the exact right time. It was my dream dress just speechless. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to check me out on Instagram at DIY Deli with an underscore at the end to see pictures from my trip at Bali and pictures of the dress on the day of. Um, more footage of that. And yeah, until next time, guys. Bye.